Hello and welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from Dadex, and today we are going back into the Abyss. We're going to run a Dark Abyss. The Bellicose is sporting the same fit we've used in the last two videos. I will put it in the description, but you're probably familiar with it if you've been following us along. Now, with the Dark Abyss, there's a slight difference to the ones that we've looked at already in the Bellicose in that there is no resistance hole inherent to that site for us to exploit through the use of the right type of ammo, drones, etc. Talking of which, I'm just getting my Hornets organised. I've just gone Kinetic for this run, so Scourge Missiles, Hornet Drones. So whatever you've got the most of hanging around, whatever's cheapest, and uh, maybe whatever your skills lead you to get the most damage out of is the way forward on a dark site. Now, not only does it have no resistance hole for us to exploit, let's see what the effects are. There are a couple, and we will, of course, be taking them into account. Now, one of them doesn't affect us too directly. It's basically a 30% penalty to optimal range and fall off range for turrets, which we don't have any of. And we get a 50% speed bonus, so that's very handy. And that does apply to our drones as well. It doesn't apply to missiles. It certainly doesn't seem to. I read somewhere that the abyssal effects did affect missiles, but the range is the same in this site from these launchers. 32 kilometers as it's been in the rest. Here we are in the first room, so we're going to pick an extraction node to head to. We're going to get the resistance module on. We're going to start burning to get our speed up and save some time. And we're going to target up what we've got here is a little herd of Dramoviks. Now, these are striking Dramoviks. They're kind of the generic G uh, DPS, I need to say GPS then, DPS versions. They do, however, remote rep. So if you watch when I get this guy into armor, he's got some reps going on. If you get a Dramovic in a site called a Renewing, they are actually boosted on their reps, so always primary lows. I think we'll be seeing more of those when we move up to Tier 2. There's the boundary of the site right by the loot box, so be careful, as I am here and as I'm not later, not to crash into it. And certainly keep your drones away from it because they don't like it. Anyway, as you can see, this guy's, the first one takes a little while to kill just because he's getting reps from the two others. Once you've killed one, then the second one's only getting rep from one Dramovic, and the last one's kind of left in the lurch, as we'll see. I'm going to speed up the footage, because if you've watched my other run-throughs, the basic mechanics we've talked about over and over again. So I'm going to go to uh, three times speed, I think. Let's see how we get on with that. So with the first Dramovic down, the second one, as you'll see, will go down a bit quicker, and then the third one will pound. Now here, don't do what I do. I've bounced straight through the barrier, because I've run into that loot box way too quick. Although the damage on my ship is quite minimal, it does wreck three of my drones, as in kill them pretty much instantly. I've got three spare drones on board, so I can still feel the full flight for the rest of the site. If you're on a site and you're in a very drone-dependent ship, do be aware of the barrier. The rats will sit on it sometimes, and the loot boxes will be on it sometimes. Just be aware of where it is. It appears in front of you very quickly. That short range deviant automata tower, it's only got a 15 kilometer range, we're going nowhere near it. Remember it will damage our drones and it will take down some missiles, but we're well out of its range so that's not an issue for us. We're on the reload for the missile launchers so the Dramovic can have a little bit of break time while the drones go off once I redeploy them to take out the loot box first and then we'll get the DPS back on the Dramovic. We're doing very well for time. We're not even a quarter of the way through the timer up there in the top left. About four minutes in so far. I think I spend as much time on these sites in these lower skill ships. I'm just regening before I jump the gate to get the shield up and the capacitor up and the reloads done. And I sometimes actually spend running the room. So do be aware of that. It's up to you. You will get a sense of how much cap you're going to need how much shield you're going to need and how that balances of how much time is left on the timer as you play the sights in your ship. So we've cleared the first room, everything's dead, the gate is open. As I said, I'm going to take a quick brief pause here to reload the missiles, get some screenshots, recharge my cap on my shield to a certain extent, but I don't think we're going to need much more than this. Let's hope so, eh? So on to the second room. Right here, we've got those drones again. We've dealt with this spawn before. There's no real big danger from these guys, certainly on a tier one. They're mostly just dealing damage. We're getting target painted, which to be honest, because we're in a cruiser and they're frigate sized drones, isn't an issue. They can't really apply their damage much better to us than they probably already are anyway. 
That is going to be an issue if there are bigger ships on grid with whatever is target painting you. Because remember, that's going to apply to everything that's shooting at you. And because the target painter is basically giving us a bigger signature radius than we would normally have, the bigger weapon systems on battleships, battle cruiser sized rats, are going to hit us easier and apply their damage better. So do be careful then, you might want to prioritise the guy that's painting you. So there's the last rat down in the second room, we're not even halfway through the timer, no stress, no bother. We've lost three drones so far clattering into the wall. The loot is building up, we'll have a look at the end of the run just how much we got. So onwards again, a little bit of recharge time here, get the missiles reloaded. Bit of capacitor, I think I'm working on the basis that I need about 60% capacitor to go into the next room as a minimum. But you, you know, the more time you've got left on the timer, why not just sit and watch your ship orbit the gate before you go into the next room? The only thing I will say is that if you get battleship spawns, some of them take a long time to kill, as I showed you in the last video. It was a nice chunk of time. I think it was eight minutes to kill that battleship. I can't remember off the top of my head. And that's why getting two of those battleship spawns on a site in a low skill, therefore low DPS ship can kill you. And there's not much you can do about it. The other thing that can kill you because you've got not enough DPS is going coming in here without the rapid light missile launchers. We'll have a look at that at the end of this video because I did that fitting a ship a bit too quickly. Again, in this room, we've got exactly the same spawn, give or take, as we had in the last room. This last drone is a little bit tougher to take down, but not much. But, um, no, nah, they're all gone. They're melted, and we're, what, we're probably about 11 minutes, 12 minutes into the timer. Sorry I keep forgetting to show the timer in the videos, but you can, you can figure it out. There's a circle there. All of a circle is 20 minutes. I'm sure you know what fractions do and how they work. Next video, I think we're going to have to put T2 rapid light missile launchers on here, not the wrong module, and have a go on a firestorm site. Now, the issue there that makes it tough for this ship is that everything with armour is going to get a 50% bonus to their armour. So we need more DPS in that site. And Rage missiles in Tech 2 launchers is the best way to achieve that, especially against those big fat battleships. Anyway, we have cleared this site. We're on our way home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to be back doing the Firestorm very soon. Once we've cleared that site with the Tech 2 fit bellicose, then the only way really is to a Tier 2 Abyssal site and see what happens, eh? So we'll be back very soon doing that. We've only made about 4 million out of the site here, but I don't think it's all about the ISK per minute. The loot can get much, much better, and we really do have to look at building some of the stuff we've got the blueprints for. And it can be quite profitable to buy what you need to finish it if you're a bit short of some of those materials. It depends on how the market's swinging on the ammo and module prices, but we'll certainly have a look at that. Anyway, I've never been shy about showing you when things go wrong, because I can just share the lesson that I've learnt from my cock-up with you. And here's the story about refitting a ship too quickly. I brought in a bellicose to do some abyss. The one that I've been setting up to do some, try to do some level 3 missions in, just to see if I can get away with it. And I fitted standard light missile launchers onto this bellicose instead of the rapids, as you can see from the rate of fire. And I do manage to take this battleship down in the first room in quite a short amount of time, about 4 minutes. And I'm thinking, could I actually possibly get away with this? So anyway, then I get into the next room. And things are a little different. Now in the videos, in this video, this spawn here would be no trouble whatsoever with the rapid lights. We'd poon it and just get on with grabbing the loot. The strike, we got two striking grammar bits here, which as I said can remote rep. So the one that I'm not shooting at is remote repping the one I am shooting at. And I cannot break his tank with the rate of fire. I'm overheating the launchers. In fact, I just go ahead, hell for leather, I burn my launchers out. Because if I can't kill this spawn, I'm not getting out of here anyway. There's nothing to lose, I can't run away. There's no option B. I switch my fire just to see if I can get away with it to one of the drones. That doesn't make any difference because then he's got two Dramovics repping him remotely. I do zoom in to some of the footage of them doing that. Let me find some of that. Yeah, there he is, you see. And you can see his intermittent yellow repping beam going off to whoever it is I'm targeting, basically. 
My drones are getting confused because drones will split their aggro if something shoots at them. I'm sure that must be what triggers it and that will drag that drone off to address whatever just shot at it. So do keep an eye and do re-aggress your drones back onto your uh, primary. I've just kind of given up the ghost here. There's no way I'm taking these guys down. Even when I get this guy into hole, you know, I burnt out my launchers just trying to take down the first Dramovic. We've got another room to do and our drones are taking a kick in. So yeah, always make sure you put the right bloody launchers on your ship before you go into the abyss. I checked the ammo. <laughs> Didn't check what I was putting them into. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a like if you've liked it, please. Any comments or suggestions are always welcome. Subscribe if you want to see more and click the notification bell if you want to know when there's more to be seen. But for now, remember, guys, even is believing. Take care and goodbye. Oh, and by the way, amongst the links below is a link to our Discord where you're welcome to come and have a chat and a link to a little merch store. I've started designing some merchandise featuring this wonderful logo I knocked up.